Uh, he's abso absolutely amazing. Well, we're glad to have you in your seat right now. Goga wins the tip, and we're ready to go. Goga kicks out for Walt. Lemon, and it's Bitase, his first two points in a bad hand, two to four. Even with Gray back in the lineup, slow start again. Dawkins with the steal. Tie game. A rookie, though, going toe to toe with an NBA guy. Bitase with two hits. After last night, it gave Fort Wayne trouble when the reserves were in. Goga finds Brian, and Bowen scores it, plus the foul. It also helps having the, the terminology um, kind of the same across the board. Uh, so the Pacers will. Steve Ganzi, coach the Pacers summer league team, has so much familiarity with the Pacers. Exactly. And the coaching Wilcox staff stepping inside. Digby Williams missed the bunny. Bitase for three. Yes. Too easy for Ben Moore, the feed from Brian Bowen as those two guys play together for the first time. Again, former Badger at Wisconsin. Lemon scoops it in with some spin. That's like his signature move. Uh, and every time I see it, I don't understand how he does it. Uh, but he makes it look easy. Well, the Mad Ants in search of consecutive wins for the first time this season. Bitaze tees it up and knocks it down. Steve Ganzi said one or the other will be on the floor pretty much all night. Brown, good. Bowen, catch and shoot. Got it. This is what he was doing before that wrist injury. Uh, doing a great job of making, knocking down that spot of three-point shot. As here he comes back down with a, a three of their own. Johnson lost it. Fort Wayne with this lead despite half a dozen turnovers so far. Ben Moore underneath. On the second effort. Brown steps outside again. One of those weak fouls to kind of get him a free throw to kind of get him going. You want to keep him kind of out of out of sync, uh, if you will. A chance for extended run tonight and taking advantage of it. Terrence Sullivan got to make his first start of the season last night for Erie, and they're a feed for Aubrey Dawkins, who scores on the reverse. Three on the shot clock, Sullivan. The turnaround, fadeaway, Jay. Goga's got space. Where he grew up, his area was going through tough times economically. Wilcox off balance, shooter's touch. Pretty. Pass right there from Gray to the cutting, Vito Brown. So dishes out eight assists per game as the point guard for the Bayhawks. Wilcox cutting and scoring the assist to Goga Bataze. Uh, so many times about uh, his shooting ability and how you have to be with CJ or almost not allow him to catch the ball. Now Gray finally has his first two points tonight. Guards Kelly tightly. Kelly with some space. Splash. Long two after he set a program record at South Carolina for games played. Sullivan got a step on Johnson and he scores off the window. Alizé Johnson spins and he's swatted by Brown. Brown banks it in in Ontario, Canada. <laughs> Kelly for three. That's wet. <laughs> Kelly off the bench has knocked down a couple of long jumpers. 
Vito Brown. That's his third three. To get ready to get back out on the floor uh, for your team. Bowen's got a mismatch. Brian with the back to the basket, scores over Gray. Bitaze, he can do it all. Behind the back, Lemon lays it in. Goga, the assist. Flashy behind the back pass, and Walt with the Walt-like finish. Igby Williams with an answer. I think sometimes uh, coaches will you know, just listen to their players. You know, they have the trust in their players, and if one of their guys say, uh, I didn't foul them, they'll, you know. And there was another instance where Gogo didn't block the shot, but he altered uh, the floater attempt by Josh Gray. But well, you have to credit the defense, uh, the Mad Ants, not allowing them to get easy shots or rhythm shots. Johnson spins and scores. Said he missed the last three games with a left wrist injury. Vito Brown. Gray through the legs. Bitaze says no. Uh. <laughs> Gets the kill. As an offensive player, <laughs> it throws everything off because you, you're wondering where he is. I think they'll credit Bigby Williams for the basket. Goga, a fiery player. High energy. A daring attempt by Bigby Williams there with Vitaze. Challenging. Brian Bowen, count it, and one. What a look from Walt. Great passing. Pitaze, he's got some size and strength on Sullivan and a touch too. Pitaze unable to score over Brown. Sullivan in the front court. Dawkins connects. Walt by Gray. Looking forward to uh, the 25th. And I know my children are excited. Bitaze steps outside. Erie without its other two-way guy in Tylen Cheatham. Out with a knee injury. Though he is a rookie himself. Adams on the drive. Well, the Bayhawks in a way. Johnson bullies his way to the basket. As they struggle right now without having the services of Zion Williams in the number one pick. Gray, baseline drive. And those hips going to work right now, trying to slow down Walt Lemon. Johnson for three. Bottoms. To now be able to, along with the tenacity he rebounds with. Yes. There was some tenacity from Aubrey Dawkins. Oh. No doubt about it. To go along with that, now Alizé can stretch the floor and knock down three-point shots as well. Lemon, the crossover to the cup. Adams with a burst and the reverse. Alizé Johnson. Kicks out, Ike Wamu. Book it. And Vladko Chanchar played it in 10 of their 13 games, but he's with Denver now. A bucket for Brown. Scotty Lindsay, transition three, no good. Offensive rebound for EC Matthews off the bench. <laughs> it has not been the start that the Mad Ants had designed. Currently four and 10. But seemingly on their way to a second win in a row, though E.C. Matthews has other ideas. Points, and prior to that, he was four of five from three. And now it's a double-double for Bitaze. Goga spinning, dishing. Oh, it's all ants tonight. Here in Fort Wayne. Lemon with the steal, leading the break. Walt, all alone. 
Josh Gray, corner kick, Matthews. Offensive rebound, Sullivan. Sullivan puts it in to D2, Finley. But he's made it. Lemon finds more. Yes. Adams on the assist for Gray. Cookies and two for Gray. Alizé Johnson. That's now 10 assists for Walt Lemon, who's got a double-double. Two more for Brian Bowen. And he might look to score right now with the shot clock winding down. He turns it over. Taryn Sullivan. Taryn Sullivan flying in the air. Taryn Sullivan. Welcome back home. Not really to worry in the sense that they're comfortably up by 23 as a horrendous shooting night continues for the Bayhawks. They're shooting 34% from the field. Luckily, no major spillage. And just beat the just beat the press. No good for CJ Wilcox. Ben Moore unselfish and Bowen has it on the second try. It's it can be confusing. Uh, and so you think, you know, what are these guys doing? These are professional guys, but they just we don't you don't see it often at all. And I think that's the reason. Alizé Johnson, the spin, and he scores. Lindsay, some time for the Bayhawks this year as they try to find a rhythm in their season. Koga. It's a, a, a great sight to see as, uh, you know, this is his first time living in a different country, uh, living here in, in Indianapolis. Koga putting it on the deck. Wamu on the drive. Taryn Sullivan around the screen. Alizé, second effort. Matthews barrels right into Kelly, no call. And Sullivan floats it in. Wamu splits traffic. Goga, Bitaze! An exclamation point on a scintillating performance in the Summit City. Matthews drills it in the corner. For McCall, too unselfish. Matthews, Euro stepping. Great effort. Again, on a back-to-back -back night uh, by our guys defensively to keep the pressure on and keep playing the right way.